Hey folks, welcome to episode 6 of Starbound Fucking Universe for 2021. Um, it's been a while since the last episode, and things like the Steam Next Festival got in the way. Um, but we're back in it, and I'm conscious that we should be doing things that we haven't really done before in our Fucking Universe videos over the years. So what I thought I'd do is, um, they've just released a new update. Let's have a look. Fairly recently. Um, change log, where apparently they've added 11 new micro dungeons to asteroid fields and biomes. Um, so, I mean, I've never really found any um, micro dungeons in asteroids before, so I think we'll have a, we'll have a bit of a look um, and see if that's going to provide us with any excitement. Um, I've re there's a lot of stuff I really need to do here. Um, I've, I've wired everything up now, uh, so everything's all good for, like, power up, up here. We've got a very limited amount of battery power, so we can sort out our stuff over here. And I've also got the item transfer network, very basic one going, so all the stuff that's in the chest down here gets consolidated and sent over to the terminal if we want to actually grab things from here. So everything is now accessible from here, which is very nice indeed, including a generic terror ejector. I presume that's a weapon. <laughs> or something. We've also got... Like, I should get rid of that. Uh, we've got... Oh, it's another weapon. Uh, but I've just opened a goodie bag, which has got a new different sound effect to what I remember. But anyway, let's go and try to find a place to go. That's good. And that... So let's sod off back to the ship. And we need an asteroid field. I mean, I could try to build up on the ocean world. Hello again. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. I also need to do something about this ship, don't I? But, ah, eh, whatever. Right, we haven't got any asteroid fields here. I don't know where we are at the moment. Let's have a look. See, Oh, asteroids! Okay. Unexplored. Not enough fuel. So after a bit of hydrogen fuel production, I've moved the ship to nearly an asteroid field. Not quite. That should take us there. Yes, there we go. And unfortunately, we can't actually deploy until we've got the mech stuff, so that's going to be something that we need to do, well, basically now. So it, I think, I don't think you can do it this science average. I think it's just going to have to be the regular old outpost. Uh, this is the sort of thing we've seen a million times before, so I won't really um, do much of it. I think it was, I, th I think we did the, uh, the the newest version of the obstacle course back in season three, possibly even two. Okay, so mech building phase one. I've got all the various things like iron, copper wire and stuff, and hopefully I should be now be able to make the basics. So yes, iron drill. Good. And basic mech legs. Good. Oh, I didn't need a bit more tungsten, but I think we'll, we're okay with what we've got so far, I think. There we go. Iron drill arm. So now we actually have got our mech. Um, I've got from the mission, uh, the, from the test mission. I have got 400 unrefined fuel, but I don't think you can actually put that into the mech directly. Oh! You just have to put it into there. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. So yes, that's actually perfectly fine. Now we've got it fueled. Right. Now we can hopefully go somewhere and try and find these goddamn micro dungeons. I need to... P obviously, I've it'd be a good idea to polish up this ship at some point. Get better thrust. Is that a lad? It is. Ooh. It's a bit tough. I think it's possibly because this um this this world I'm in is uh quite high tier, and I should probably find some asteroids on a lower tier place. Oh hello, a micro dungeon. Don't know if it's a new one or not, but let's have a bit of a look. Danger! You're your mech servos and components are rapidly freezing within the liquid nitrogen. This isn't a good thing. Evacuate soon, or you'll no regret. I was trying to find a, like a mech entrance to that asteroid, but oh, hello! Get my drill out for the lads. This is this is too hot. It's plutonium. Let's go. So a lot happened there. So I'm not used to playing mechs in fracking universe, but I got some plutonium ore <laughs> very very briefly. Yeah, look at that. Seven fuel. Oh, that's actually regular fuel. Okay, that'd be it. That's, that's nice. But I don't know what he was talking about when he was talking about my mech freezing to death or whatever. Maybe it's just not a good enough mech to do things in yet. Uh, but I'm also a bit concerned that this particular asteroid field is going to be too hot for us. Where actually are we? We are in a... Let's go back. Oh, we're in a binary star. Ooh. Right, this time. I think this is the only way in, isn't it? Uh-oh. Where's my grappling hook? Do I even have a grappling hook in this game? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm fine. Oh, hello! It's, they're, not, they're not cool. We're not cool. We are not cool, officially. Um, wasn't expecting that. Bye. <laughs> I'm off. 
<gasps> no. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Threw a bomb. Don't do that. God damn it. My own worst enemy here. Oh, piss. So it's time to upgrade our armor, I think, because I'm on tier 1 armor at the moment. There's... I mean, you could even just go for something basic like silver, and that would be an improvement of what I've got. Under Underworld? That's also tier 1. So, yeah, silver, this must be something... I think maybe this is a case of doing some research. I think we surely, surely need, we'll be able to, like, bump things up there. Titanium equipment, that's tier 3. Ooh. I don't think we've actually got much in the way of titanium. I can't remember, actually. I can't remember where we were up to exactly. We're, we're sort of like um, in the middle. We're around tier 2, but, like, depends which... Oh, we've got 15. That's not enough to get much, but that'll, at least that'll allow us to do the uh, unlock. Yeah, there we go. It's gone blue now. Oh, that's learned to craft everything in the world, including gold um, chest piece, which um, would be better, I guess. Let's see what else there is out there. Um, we haven't got to the proto site or penumbrite or zaki. Oh, zakesium potentially. I think I've seen some. I've seen some zakesium somewhere so far. Carbon fiber. Ooh. But let's not worry about that just yet. Now we've got the titanium stuff. That's going to be handy. Uh, Jura steel. Technically, I think we've. I've got. I've had some Jura steel here and there, but it's always been on. Oh, yeah, we've got. We've got the orb. We haven't actually. I don't think we've got the ability to actually. Uh, turn it into anything yet. I think that's another thing that's locked behind research. So let's have a bit of... I think that'll be under geology, won't it? Jura steel. Unless we've already done this. Hang on. Geology 3. Oh, here we go. Possibly. Jura steel. Here we go. This, this just requires research, apparently. And there's... There's Jura steel. We've got some of that. So now we can craft Jura steel bar. And therefore... There it is. Lots of Jura steel, but not that much. So now the armor. Now we've actually done the whole research thing. The armor should improve things. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do about the um, the mech. I think um, we may have to just dial it back to go to an easier asteroid thing. But I do want to take on that little micro dungeon since that's kind of like the point of what we're doing here. But let's have a look at what we can do now. It said gold, but uh, maybe we actually do need to upgrade this place first. So we do need to get quite a few things. Tungsten, silicon board, and electromagnets. Some of which we'll have in storage, I think, but we will have to probably do a bit more crafting. Elec. We've got a few of them. But I think tungsten we'll have to get some more of. Yeah, we'll... Okay. A bit of, you've gained a plus one research bonus, blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh, also, it's time to get some food. Because uh, I am starting to find a grow low on that. Sweet corn. Sweet corn. Where's the cook? Oh, God damn it! I need to move things around. I need a kitchen. A proper-ass kitchen at some point. For now, I think, let's just see what we can make out of the crap that we've got. Corn on the cob. How oh, marvellous. 15 of them. We just had enough tungsten ore to turn into tungsten bars, and so we've just got enough. Got enough silicon board. I had some silicon on me. And, with any luck, that will allow us to make... Yeah, there's, there it is. There's the gold stuff, which gives us... Um, total armour of around 24, 31, which compares favourably with 18, frankly. Gold seems to be a bit under-ambitious, but it'd be reasonably... We, we can get this. Um, we can get this. We just need a little bit of the old silk touch. Where's where's the silcarium? Probably here. Now, have we actually got any of them? We may not actually have the ability to make silk yet. It's locked behind a few things, though. We need to get into cotton sewing first. So we need cotton fibre. And that's it. Now, cotton fibre. Let's see if we've got any seeds. If not, we can probably make some. I don't know why. I, I can just do this, can't I? I don't, think, I don't think we have got any. We've got 11. Oh, that's one too few. <laughs> Shit. Ugh. Let's just double check. Yeah, we need one more cotton fibre and we can unlock this. Son of a bloody bugger. Um, could do with maybe growing some. I think you can get some from... No, I don't know. We'll, we'll have a look. Cotton. Cotton seeds. Uh, we need living root and plant fibre. Almost certainly have got those. I say almost certainly. We, again, we probably don't have quite enough of everything. And then research, and then craftsmanship. 
Oh no, we actually have no. I'm, I'm trying to skip a bit here. No, we need to go make the seeds if we can. Oh, we haven't quite got enough, have we? Oh, yes, we have. We, d we just have enough. Okay, fine. Cotton seeds. Um, right, which of you? Which of you are the poo ones? Well, let's get you. You're the carrots, which apparently have been growing. Cotton seeds. And we also probably need some foit, Eliza. Let's just... Not all of it. We grab some of this. Put that back. Oh, I can what I'm doing. Stop. That go back. goes in there. Goes in there. And that goes in there. So once we've had another yield of carrots, we'll get the cotton. Which seems like a sew-all process. But, uh, whilst we're waiting, uh, it occurs to me that we should probably use this as an opportunity to replace these growing trays with better growing trays, with powered ones. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Is it here? Is it in the foraging table? I need to upgrade a lot of these things. Uh, crappy sprinklers. We need powered things. Maybe it's under power... Oh, God, there's, there's things. There's things all over the place again. Right. Lock all the doors. So what do we need? We need farm powered farm equipment. I suspect it won't be in there, will it? Um, it might be an unlock... Um, what, well, once we've got uh, this upgraded, which requires a bit more circuit board and a bit more battery. I'm sure, I think we've got, we've definitely got battery. But silicon board, I think we've only got one of these. I think we might have to make some, Oh no, we've got, we've got four in there. Right, upgrade this. And then... And then we... Don't have what I'm looking for. What? Oh, it's a growing... No, it's a growing... It's the, I need the upgraded version of this, don't I? So, hmm. Ooh, I think I found it. It's an advanced farming. Which uh, is quite cheap. Um, water, a water generator, eh? Um, various other things as well. But the heat lamp tray requires one watt of power to increase production. Requires three seeds and additional water. Right, so the heat lamp tray is in the electronic section of the centre, whatever. Um, heat lamps, we need glass. Glass is going to be a bit tricky because, well, <laughs> I was going to say it needs sand, but we're surrounded by bloody sand, aren't we? So that's fine. Got loads of glass. Thought we must have. Right. Heat lamp tray. Let's get a few of them. So this will require power. Um, well, this is technically our growing district, so I should really do it over here. Let us get rid of that. And put down the heat lamp. Oh, it's big. And it will need power. And this this might not stretch. This is my power supply node here. Ow. Will this reach? Boop. Just. I think we might have to put a power relay to um, bridge the gap when it comes to things that are further along. Anyway, so let's bung in. Not hydrogen. Let's bung in. Here we go. Fertilizer. Whoa, ah, and now, well, ideally we want cotton, but let's put let's put the sweet corn back in, just because it does seem to be, yeah it does seem to be providing us with a lot of food at the moment, so that's all to the good. Meanwhile, the cotton is growing. Now there is some minor education we can do here using our scanner, and this I can see my reflection. That's, that's glass, and this has this is the corn one. This is water and liquefied crystal in it, and if we mouse well, if we actually click it. Um, growth rate is 7.5. Over here, uh, where we are, we're using organic soup, and that apparently isn't as good. Um, growth rate 4.5. And if we go over to the regular growing tray, only 2.5 uh, for this for our cotton. You can see though the 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 ones on the left have already grown up to nearly uh, fully yielded, whereas our cotton is still struggling onwards, and so that'll be a while yet. I mean, this is this here is um, growing three times faster than this over here, so that's kind of to be expected. Oh, here we go. Seven cotton fibre. Ooh, that's, that's decent. Okay. Right, what are we doing? We are unlocking this. Boop. A douche hat? Ooh, don't want a douche hat. <laughs> right, um, so. Silk sewing. We need 16 silk fibres. So I've started to make some moth traps after unlocking some stuff from the agricultural branch. I think it's husbandry. Uh, let's see if we've actually got enough. Here we go. Moth trap. A couple more of these. Turn them into large ones, which requires... Oh, I can only make one of those, apparently, but... 
that'll do. And we'll probably put these, well, I don't know how big the, the large one is, because I normally just use the regular ones. It's, okay, it's not too bad. But there's our first one. And we'll, sh we'll be able to make silk fibres from that. There are other ways. You can grow, you can grow silk fibres from bracken seeds. I wonder if we've actually got any bracken seeds. I never, never thought to check. Brack. Nope. Well, we're not going to grow it. We'll just harvest it for moths. I did want a hook shot, or a grappling hook. Um, just try and work out where... Here we go, hook shot. That was easy. <laughs> a rope and carbon dioxide. And then, when we actually do go back to that micro dungeon, we don't have any rope. Good damn it. I'm sure we can make rope easily enough, can't we? Just literally just basic crafting. Make 81. Don't do that. Right. Tinkerer's table. Um, hook shot. We can upgrade this using my tricorder, eh? Also, we can do this whilst we're here. Upgrade tinkering table. To do reasons of things. Right, so we've got a hookshot. And we can look great using our tricorder. How? Right, let's upgrade. Here we go. Oh! Hookshot requires eight more modules. So we can't do that anytime soon, but... Oh, no, I've never done this, but... Oh, you can... We can also upgrade um, our armour like this. Admittedly, we can't because of errors involved. We can also upgrade our sword. I mean, I really want to make a new sword. In fact, that's the one. We actually need two for that, though. Um, that's interesting. I don't actually realise you could upgrade so much stuff, but I say I want to. I want to get a brand new sword. I don't want to upgrade the existing one. I need to get. Well, let's see what there is on my regular ass broadsword type situation. Now we've actually got. Well, we can't make anything out of gold because that's a golden scythe. We don't really want to be scything all over the place. A titanium broadsword might be a nice little upgrade. I've actually got enough. I could just do this right now, and nobody could complain. Done it. There. This looks like these. This looks like the heart. Yeah, here we go. The harvest is in. We got eleven. We needed a tiny bit more than that, didn't we? It keeps on giving me just a li not quite enough stuff. But yeah, uh, craftsmanship. We need sixteen. So uh, I think I'll. I, th I think I can upgrade these to the large version. I think I just needed a bit more something else. Um, let's try and do that. Or I can make a water ge the water generator. I could replace the well. I'm going to do that. Uh, meanwhile, moth trap large. I just need a bit more wood. So I've unlocked silk and made a bit of silk. I made nine silk out of the th something or other <laughs> silk fibres we had. So finally, we might now be able to make our gold. Here we go. Um, four, seven, nine. I've got exactly enough silk. Um, titanium. I don't think we've got enough to make everything though. Titanium. We need a little bit more, but we'll make the chest piece and the greaves. And then we'll have to make the other piece shortly. But already, it means that we can upgrade our crappy armour and turn it into good armour. So even without the helmet, we've still got, we've now got 23. Right, so let's have another attempt at the mech thing. Now I've got my full gold armour. I've got my grappling hook, my hookshot, and I've got something else as well. We're still slow as shit in here. I do need to upgrade this at some point, the, me the mech itself, but that'll require a lot. I mean, I'm running very low on things like titanium bars, whatever. I keep on scrabbling around for that sort of thing, which is less than ideal. Right, okay, so we go in here. And then... Tonk! Oh, God, this is no good. This is no good. This is not good. Well, I've got to get rid of this, I think. Trouble is, these lads, if I touch those as my in my um, normal form, in my out of mech form, it actually really annihilates me, so you need to get got before I go back into here. Didn't even didn't even need the grappling hook that time. Right, this is more like it. See, once you've actually got out, out of the out of the way of those um, space lads, everything seems to be a lot easier. The new sword isn't particularly proving that effective, but at least this time we've managed to stay inside and not and not get killed immediately. Right, that's this is much more like it. Right, so that's that does them. Fortunately, those up there are also the evil lads. So I'm going to be very careful. These these lads down here, not quite sure how tough they're going to be. <laughs> now I'm sure. So clearly I made a big mistake. Um, coming to an asteroid field in such a high-tier place. 
Uh, I, I can't quite cope with this. What I have got is um, some Molotovs. So hopefully I'll be able to tonk those lads, burn them to death, and I'll be able to get my stuff back. I haven't got a gun. I've, I have, I've got a gun, but it's not great. There we go. That, that helped. Anyway, get my stuff back. <laughs> and see what's actually here. Oh, a topsy table! Now, is this protected? This is unfortunately is a protected place. But I could always... I don't think I can put a flag down here either, but... Nah, whatever. A laboratory locker? No. Why is that got a... Hmm. Oh, it's, it's literally... It's already open. Hmm. Oh, that changes the gravity. Okay. Yeah, I see. Right. And here is our treasure. Nothing. Our treasure is... N <laughs> After all that, it's bloody nothing. And also, I can't get this stuff over here. Maybe there's a... Um, maybe, if you take this off. That also disables the... Um, okay, good. That also disables the, um, the protection. So it means I can grab all the stuff that I'll ever want. Tungsten. Yes. I'm very, very low on this. So, Marnie, all this is going to take a long time. But I've also noticed, bottom right, there's a load of titanium as well. And at the moment, as I say, I keep on having to um, pop out and get some more tungsten and titanium from planets, and it's proven to be a pain in the arse. But now, um, I'm getting shit tons. I've only got 230 tungsten after doing this. And I'm about to get a load of titanium and all. Let's see, see if we can actually put some light in the situation. There we go. Okay, I think that's plenty for now. This is more like it. Ish. <laughs> there we go. Oh, come on. Right, so there's still a little bit more in the top right to actually deal with, but honestly, those lads are probably a bit too tough for us, and there's, there's only a bit of diamond there, and that's pretty much all that's of any use at the moment. Let's make our way slowly to the mech and get out of here. And that eventually proved to be incredibly lucrative. We shall never, ever have to worry about titanium or tungsten ever again. Right, back to base. Right, iron ore. A shit ton. Titanium. 89. No, not bad. And tungsten, 144. Excellent stuff. Perfect. That'll keep us going. And we'll be able to hopefully um, upgrade a few of our other things as well. Maybe get a, a proper ass gun. Let's, see if we're, let's actually see if we can actually make a titanium gun of some description. We can make an iron sniper rifle, uh, which is only a tier 1, so to hell with that. But we can now make titanium sniper rifle, uh, which does damage to a shot 22, or a shoddy, uh, which might be a bit more fun, so I think I'll make one of those. It requires titanium and silver. Right, finally got a, a proper gun again. Seems ages since I had one, <laughs> but I should put that, I'll put that into there. Yes, this is more like it. Bang. There. Oh god, the poison's going rogue. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about that. So no idea whether that's a new micro dungeon or not that we explored, but uh, first time I've um, done it on camera, um, all that asteroid stuff, so I'm happy enough. Uh, hopefully the next episode will, won't take quite so long to come out. I should have a bit more time to actually do this. Um, again, I don't know what we'll do next time, but I was say, I'm hoping to explore stuff that again we haven't really done much on video before to keep things fresh and new so do thanks thanks for watching and do subscribe as you um, and do all the usual things leave a like leave a comment all that sort of stuff and check me out and buy me a coffee if you want to support the channel as per usual I'll see you next time bye for now